People involved in the trial from the beginning who didn't even know the Pettit family personally have been left emotionally scarred. There were dozens who had to be there every day. Our team coverage continues now with News 8's Bob Wilson live from New Haven Superior Court. Bob? Very emotional in court and it has been packed. It has been standing room only, no seats available from start to finish of the trial. People there, complete strangers, who had to work through it, including one sketch artist who said, this is one of the worst trials she's ever had to cover. This one is pretty damn nasty. There are two trials that I've been to that had to do with sexual abuse of children and murder, and they, they were killer, and I wished I hadn't heard the details. You know, you're drawn to it like a moth, you know, and, you, and then you, it, everything you hear hurts. So this one was really, really bad. There was a day we heard his confession, and everyone was leaving in tears. You couldn't even touch anyone to console them. They were that upset. Christina Cornell has been a courtroom sketch artist for 35 years. She says in that time she's covered hundreds and hundreds of trials and nothing compares to this one. She was here for Stephen Hayes, but she says this time around the emotion ran much deeper. She started out as a stranger and now she feels emotionally attached to the case. This, this is a heartbreak story. I have a daughter myself and I just go home and say thank you that she's, you know, a blossom and enjoying her life. You know, th th this is heartbreak. There's really nothing worse than, than this. Scary stuff. Scary, bad, awful stuff. I, I, I you know, want to have compassion for the defendant, um, for his youth, perhaps, for his, you know, uh, wh who he could have been, but for what, what he didn't do here, what he did and what he didn't do, it's like, there's nothing to do but, you know, exactly. throw him away. That's right, she said, throw them away. Now, the death penalty phase of the trial will begin on the 24th, a week from Monday. News 8 will be here for that. I'm Bob Wilson, live in New Haven, News 8.